Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bhartia, and welcome to TFR Newsroom. Ahana is announcing new capabilities for his Presto managed services. And to discuss this announcement, we have with us once again Deepti Borger, co founder and chief product officer at Ahana. Deepti, it's great to have you back on the show. Hey, Swap, great to be here. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Uh, I want to talk to you before we talk about this announcement that what is the importance of Presto managed services for customers? Because if you look at the cloud native landscape, it's first of all very busy space and things can get complicated very quickly if customers have to deal with all of that. Uh, so talk about the, the role of managed services. How do they help customers so that they can focus on business uh, application value that adds to their business while leveraging open source and cloud native technologies without having to worry about all this complexity. Let me actually take a step back and talk uh, a little bit about open source and uh, the phases that open source go to markets have gone through. Uh, if you remember phase one of open source, a lot of it was just providing services around the core open source project. Think Red Hat, uh, think Hortonworks, um, there were there were uh, uh, there were projects that were very successful, uh, but essentially just uh, the vendors were delivering services around them. Uh, then came open core models uh, with Cloudera and Mongo and and others, where you have uh, these projects where there was uh, a core IP that was uh, built in in addition to the open source, and that was delivered as value uh, to the end customers, right? And now we're seeing phase three of open source which is really around managed services. With cloud and, and the ease of cloud and the flexibility of cloud, um, data platform teams, um, engineering teams want ease of use and they want to get started fast. Uh, they, want, they want to spend less time on DevOps and uh, deployments and management and tuning uh, and just get there much faster. And that's why managed services are so important uh, for open source. Um, that's why we've built uh, Ahana to be a managed service for Presto. Uh, Presto, as you know, is uh, came out of the Hadoop ecosystem and is uh, can be pretty complex. There's a, a lot of moving parts, uh, many, many uh, parameters, hundreds of tuning parameters uh, where data engineers might need to figure out what each of these mean uh, and configuring uh, clusters uh, with these uh, with these parameters. And there's so many other features that they need to be um, they need to figure out as well. With a managed service, it takes away all this complexity, right? All of this goes away. And with a few clicks, you have uh, clusters up and running, not one, multiple clusters for multiple use cases, and you have instant value. So what we've seen with Ahana Cloud, uh, which is uh, the managed service for Presto, is we've taken months of deployment cycles and we've shortened them to weeks and, and in some cases, hours. And that's the beauty of managed service. It's really creating value for end customers um, and getting them and their platform teams to really do more with their time um, uh, for uh, in, in terms of uh, other projects uh, beyond just uh, de deployment, management, tuning. Um, leave that to the managed service. Great, thanks for explaining that. And yeah, uh, it does make a life easier for a lot, a lot of people. Now let's talk about uh, this announcement. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here at PrestoCon uh, talking to you. Uh, uh, we are, um, you know, to go a little bit, uh, a few months back, uh, we launched uh, our generally available service in December. And in the last three months, we've made uh, enormous progress. There's a lot of major capabilities uh, in four key areas that I want to talk about. And, um, uh, and this is going to advance our our lead into the managed service for Presto in the market. Uh, we're the only only managed service for Presto, uh, and now we uh, we've added a lot of additional capabilities um, for uh, killer features, better performance, uh, more secure Presto, uh, and so excited uh, to talk about it. Uh, there's four areas. Uh, first one is ease of use, right? And we just talked about it. You know, managed services are built to be easy to use. Uh, but there's uh, that's a continuum. You have to constantly make every aspect of the service easy to use. Um, and, and so that continues to be a key investment area for us from a product perspective. Uh, the other area is performance. Uh, performance is uh, uh, another one where uh, uh, we, especially with query engines, uh, it's it's all it's performance, 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 and there's uh, some really uh, cool features that we're announcing today. 
Um, security is is an important one where, again, it's a continuum where we, we are constantly investing in better security. And then finally, cost management, right? Um, cloud is now a given. Everybody has deployments in the cloud, be it enterprise customers, mid-market, small SMB uh, customers. And um, and and now it's moving moved on to optimization of that of those uh, cloud of the cloud resources that they're using, and so cost becomes important. And so we've added in capabilities uh, that we've pushed out already, as well as over the next uh, few weeks that give users um, uh, the same the same capabilities but at lower cost. So those are the four key areas uh, that uh, that uh, that this release covers, and uh, excited to be here to talk about it. If I ask you, what are the key highlights or focus areas for these new capabilities? Is, is it performance? Is it security? Is it better management? Is it ease of use? All or all of the above? Yeah, you know, it's with enterprise software, you can't pick one, right? If we had to ask our users, do you want uh, cost or performance or or ease of use, um, you know, or uh, security? They'll say all of them, please. <laughs> and so, uh, really, you have to build product with a three sixty degree holistic view uh, because that's what enterprise customers, uh, uh, data platform teams are looking for. Now, there are a few few key highlights that I want to talk about um, uh, from a, a, a ease of use perspective. I want to talk about uh, our programmatic access. So we have an amazing UI today where you can have uh, clusters up and running, multiple clusters up. It's a single pane of glass that you can have, um, you know, a test and dev, a staging, a production cluster, or multiple use cases, um, clusters for each use case. Um, and it, it gives you everything you need, the endpoints, the, uh, the, the security aspects, uh, the data sources connecting to a range of things. And um, uh, but even then, some users just want to have everything done programmatically, and so they want to in- incorporate Presto and uh, these Presto clusters into their uh, data engineering jobs, and they want programmatic access to Ahana. And so, with the uh, programmatic access, we've essentially converted every uh, cluster function: um, uh, start a cluster, stop a cluster, resize a cluster, add data sources, right? All of this can be now programmatically done, which makes the life of a data engineer uh, significantly easier. And um, uh, and and so that way, uh, again, it's they spend less time on getting it up and running and actually m- making the lives of their data scientists and their analysts um, easier as well. I want to talk about security a bit uh, because security is really becoming uh, a, not only a serious concern, but also it's no longer uh, an afterthought. It's no longer someone else's problem. So let's talk about how do you deal with security for Ahana Cloud? You know, security is at multiple levels, right? Um, and the way we we think about security, uh, there's um, uh, it's, in, it's in layers. Now, Presto is a fairly mature um, uh, open source project already and comes with a lot of uh, capabilities, security capabilities built in. And so I, I, I tend to call it, you know, in database or in engine security, where you get some of these things out of the box, right, for free. You don't need a, a tool on the side. Uh, it just takes care of it for you. Um, the next layer of security is in the cloud itself, right? And 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 for example, the managed service, every Presto cluster you create has to have a password. You can't not have a password for that for for Presto clusters. In addition to that, we have on the wire security. Everything's HTTPS, um, and um, uh, and 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 you can enable security at rest with with S3 uh, encryption and so on. And then the third layer of security is integration into other tools in the ecosystem. And one of the key features that we've added in this release is our integration with Apache Ranger. So Apache Ranger, if you're uh, familiar with, is uh, essentially a tool where uh, you can connect with multiple different engines and have all the policies uh, uh, defined within Ranger. So, you know, does John have access to uh, the customer uh, table, right? The um, Does uh, Emily have access to the column in the line items table? Uh, these are the kind of uh, policies that you can set and Presto essentially can integrate with it. Now, uh, why is this in, in interesting? Because up until now, there wasn't an open source integration for Presto and Ranger. And uh, we have, um, uh, along with this integration, we've, we've uh, contributed back to the community. Uh, and, uh, and, and so now there is, uh, 
you know, a, a strong security story for Presto and Ranger uh, that we're excited about. One point that I want to go back to, uh, as you were mentioning earlier, one of the caching was a big challenge. Second is performance also as important. Security is performance also important. So let's just deep, uh, dive a bit into uh, how do you... Uh, enhance uh, the, the performance with this release. And uh, what is uh, data lake caching? If you can just explain that term and then we will talk about uh, you know how the cluster management is improved, uh, all the performance related aspects that were added to this release. That's right. So uh, performance we haven't talked about yet. And one of the key features that we're adding there is the data lake uh, IO cache. Now, um, you know, performance can be improved in many different ways. But what we're seeing is with uh, with some of the workloads, when uh, customers are running workloads, um, uh, the same query is run many, many times, the same set of data gets, uh, get, gets pulled in from S3. Now this can be avoided if you have a cache essentially that's a part of the uh, that's a part of the platform where um, performance can dramatically improve. And that's what the data lake cache is. We've essentially, uh, with a single click, when you create a cluster, you say enable caching, the rest is taken care of for you. Um, the, 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 the memory size, um, the, 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 all the details, the EBS volumes that need to be attached, everything is configured for you with one, one checkbox and you have caching enabled. Now, why should it matter? Why should you care? Uh, you know, typically with uh, sequential benchmarks like a TPCH or TPCDS, you run one query at a time. Um, the numbers with caching, um, uh, it helps even with, with, with sequential runs. And we've seen anywhere from, you know, 1.5 to 2x performance uh, improvements in uh, with, with the standard benchmarks. But when we ran um, customer workloads at, at large scale with concurrent queries uh, hitting the cluster, uh, we ran um, uh, um, you know workload where we had 650 billion rows and um, um, many many queries hitting the cluster at the same time. That's where we see massive performance improvements, and we see up to 5x uh, 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 improvement in performance and reduction in uh, latency, query latency. And so this is pretty significant. Uh, with 7% increase in cost of your Presto cluster, you have 5x better performance from that cluster. Uh, and, uh, and that's why our users are very excited about Data Lake IO um, caching. With a single click, um, you, you get tremendous value. Deepthi, thank you so much for joining us today, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Great. Thanks to be here again, Swap. Always a pleasure. Uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>